Welcome to Mr. Giant Reacts. A ting, a ting, a ting. And today we're going to be watching 24 Taboos. Avoid making these mistakes in Canada. How to be polite in Canada. Okay, well, I'm going to need that if I'm going to visit Canada. You know what I mean? I'm going to know, want to know what the taboos are, what not to do in other places it takes. So, you know, this should be like an educational thing for me about what I should do and what I shouldn't do there. Let's YouTube and Sib Sib and see what this is all about, all right? Hi, everyone. Would you like to learn about Canadian taboos in English? Welcome to Jen's Jukyo. My name is Jen and I am Canadian. And today I want to do a commonly requested lesson following my Canadian slang video. And that request Ooh. is to make a lesson about Canadian taboos. Hopefully you will find these taboos interesting as well as provide a useful resource for you to think about when you're coming to Canada. The taboos included in this lesson might not be taboos just for Canada and could also be considered taboo in many other places as well. True. But I tried to include things that are specifically taboo in Canada. Things that you should avoid saying or doing when in my country. The first thing is when you are talking with someone there are certain topics that are are best to avoid things that you shouldn't talk about with what? people unless they are very very close friends or family oh wow these topics include things such as sex religion politics and money those are topics that in general you don't usually talk about with people who you are not close to because it can easily cause arguments However, as a Canadian, there's another thing that I would like to add to this list of taboo conversation topics. And that is the fact that Canadians absolutely <laughs> hate being compared to Americans. Please, when you are speaking with Canadians, do not compare Canada to the United States. Do not compare Canadians to Americans. That is something that the majority of Canadians absolutely hate. Awesome. You know where I am here? That is something people absolutely do. You know what I mean? Oh, they're just like us. They're like our little sister or little brother. You know what I mean? They're just a, a watered down version of America and all of that. I hear all of it here about Canadians. And then, but now that I've been doing these videos and stuff and I'm getting to know Canadians, eh, so there's a massive difference. But, because, I mean, even the political system is different. You know? Uh, I'm not so sure about religion in Canada. Uh, I have to believe that Catholicism is a big somewhere there because of the, the, the former colonizers. Uh, I have n I'll be honest with you, I've never met a Protestant Canadian. Not once have I met one. Maybe because of the don't talk about religion <laughs> when you don't know them, you know what I mean? But I've never actually met one. I've never, you know, I've met Protestant British people, American people. That's mainly who, but uh, I like the idea of not discussing politics with somebody you don't know. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's why people get into arguments, and that is so true because on social media, you see people arguing all the time. You know, even here on some of my videos, some people try to make it political and argue all the time. Uh, never the Canadians, though. Never the Canadians. Let's get back to the uh, video here and see what else I should uh, avoid doing when I get to Canada. So, very taboo. Canada does not have Eskimos, and we also do not have Indians. These two words are actually very offensive and shouldn't be used. Instead, there are other good words that we can use to discuss these Aboriginal groups of people. The most common expression that we would use is First Nations people because they were here first. When you meet somebody for the first time... You, you want to know what's funny about that, what she said, uh, not call people Eskimos and that's highly offensive? I have never ever thought of calling anybody from Canada living in that region that would. I, just, I don't know why I never associated that word with them. Maybe because I've learned earlier that the indigenous people there are a certain tribe and, you know, a sort of respected 
that from the jump, but I, I never, I don't think I ever used that word to describe the, anybody from that region, or for anybody for that matter. It just didn't seem like a, I don't know, it just didn't seem like an appropriate word. Especially where I hear people say, oh, we're Eskimo brothers, or we this or that or the other, you know, it always used in a disparaging way. But I have never, I, I've never thought of them as Eskimos. I just thought of them as n indigenous people or native people. Maybe it's some kind of a intuition, huh? Let's get back to the video. I'm in Canada, it's very common to shake hands with that person. If someone reaches out to shake your hand and you don't shake their hand in return, it is considered extremely rude. Also, when you first meet people, common questions such as, oh, what do you do and things like that are appropriate. However, from my experience in different Asian countries, there is one specific question that you should not ask people in Canada, but that is very common in Asian countries that people will ask each other when they first meet. And that question is about your age. Asking somebody how old they are is considered extremely rude in Canada. If you're talking to a child, maybe it's fine because the child might be excited. I'm 10 years old. But once you become an adult like me, I find it rude if you ask me how old I am. That's not a good question when meeting people in Canada. To be honest, it's the same in, in, in Grenada where I'm from. You just don't ask people how old they are. And people ask you that all the time in this country. I've had kids come into the store where I work, look me up and down, and the first question they ask is how old I am. And I tell you, it, it just irks me on the inside when they ask that. It's like, why would you ask a question like that? And I've seen people ask, you know, other people how old they are. Okay. I don't know if some people might call that sexist. I don't, I don't uh, you know, but asking a woman how old she is is not a very good thing where I'm from. Uh, people seem to ask that question willy-nilly up here, you know, like, what is my age? knowing my age is going to do for you. It's kind of like, what is knowing my height is going to do for you? Why would you ask those questions? I mean, is it going to better your life? Uh, is it going to uh, skew your image of me by finding out how old I am? You know, though sometimes I have to, I don't tell people my age, but I have to tell them I'm a lot old, younger than I look because of the way they speak to me, you know what I mean? I have to, I have to let them know, hey, <laughs> I'm not some child or I'm not as young as you think I am, so speaking down to me is not apropos at this time, you know what I mean? So I have to tell people, hey, I'm, I'm older than I look, back up a bit, you know? But if they come out straight and ask me my age, I usually make a joke of it and tell them, ah, I'm 19 going on 20. But it just doesn't seem right to just come out and ask somebody their age because when my culture where I am, like Canada, just don't do that stuff. Let's get back to the video here. Another thing which I feel is common in most countries, but not all, is that when you are talking to someone, it is polite to make eye contact with them. Please look them in the eyes. I find it uncomfortable if I'm talking to someone and they look away or look at their shoes, look at their hands, look down. I find that a little bit odd and some people might even find it rude. So when you're talking to someone in Canada, it is polite to make eye contact with that person. Good to know. I want to talk about a couple of gestures that are considered rude in Canada. As with most countries, showing somebody the middle finger or giving them the finger is rude. So if I go like this, that is a very rude symbol in Canada and you should definitely That's kind of universal. Doing that. Another important gesture that you should do, however, is if you yawn, maybe you are tired, you can't control yawning, if you yawn, is very rude. You should cover your mouth when you yawn, and if there's people here, you should also kind of turn away from them. Yawning towards someone is considered very rude, so please turn away and cover your mouth. 
that's the same thing on the island. You, you, when you yawn, oh, we used to get in trouble as kids if we just sit there. Oh, you know, we get in trouble. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that, that that's that, that's definitely a taboo. But you know, like for instance, I'm working where I work. Other workers would just stand next to you and go and yawn and stuff, you know. And good lord, morning breath is a hell of a killing thing. <laughs> But they would just yawn, you know what I mean? And I had to get used to it. It doesn't bother me as much anymore because I've been living here for so long. But uh, the yawning thing, no. Here's another, here's a guest, a, a, a guest in the Caribbean that uh, that could get you in a lot of trouble. I would just add this one in there just for kicks, you know what I mean? Sucking your teeth. Going like... That is a major insult. That is a major insult when you do that. Uh, we call it stoops in back home, you know what I mean? And people usually do it when they're irritated or when they want to dismiss you. And uh, my ex-wife is from Kentucky, okay? And she had a habit of doing that. And uh, we were living in New York, and where we lived in New York was a lot of Caribbean people. So I told her, you got to stop sucking your teeth like that, you know? That's a, that's like an insult back home. That's stoops in. Somebody hear that, they might get offended. And she's like, well, that don't make any sense. No, 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 you know what I mean? So she was working in this store where uh, there was a girl from my country working there, a girl from Grenada working there, and another Caribbean person came in because this is kind of universal to the Caribbean. And uh, this girl came in, and... Uh, they had some conflict about what the woman wanted to buy and stuff, and, and the Grenadian girl stoops, and the girl went, BAP! <laughs> so my ex was like, whoa, what, the, what was that all about? I said, I tell you, do not suck your teeth around there, you know, that's a major insult there, you know what I mean? That's a dismissive type of thing. Let's get back to the video. I thought that was like a funny little story there. Speaking of covering your mouth, if you sneeze, Please sneeze into your elbow. Achoo. Also, in Canada, when you sneeze, yeah. to be polite, you should say, excuse me. Same as if you accidentally fart or burp <laughs> or cough. After you've done this bodily function, it is polite to say, excuse me, or oh, sorry, excuse me. If you don't say that, people might consider you a little bit rude. Also. Okay, I know I'm cutting in a lot here, but hey, you know, to be check this out. When I first came to America, I sneezed, and before I could say, excuse me, somebody said, bless you. I was like, bless me? What are you, a priest or something? <laughs> Why are you blessing me? You know what I mean? And, okay, I, it baffled me for years. Like, every time I sneeze, people would say, bless you. Uh, and I would also say excuse me because I was raised to say excuse me if you sneeze. So I was like, okay, why do you all say bless you? And nobody could really come up with anything concrete, but they said, uh, if you sneeze, that means you might be sick. And uh, they want God to bless you so you don't be sick. That's the best explanation I've gotten for this, you know what I mean? But that's something I had to get used to because, you know, I go, Achoo! and the person is saying bless you. And I'm like... <laughs> so, if you are near somebody and they sneeze, it is polite to say, bless you. For example, oh, excuse me, bless you. Oh, thank you. In terms of gestures connected what? to table etiquette, it is considered very rude to put your elbows yeah. on the table yeah. when you are eating dinner or eating any meal. Don't put your elbows on the table. Oh, also, yeah. common sense, I think, but when you are eating, don't talk with food in your mouth and don't chew with your mouth open. Another gesture which can be considered rude is pointing directly at someone. If you point at someone, it can be seen as rude. So if you want to gesture towards someone that way, the best thing to do is gesture like this with your palm up towards the person like this so how are you versus how are you canadians are known for being polite some canadians consider this a stereotype but compared to some other places where i've traveled i do feel that there is a certain level of politeness and common courtesy in canada for example saying please and 
thank you and sorry is very much appreciated and is often heard more in Canada than it ha is in other English speaking countries. One very interesting thing about sorry is if there are two people walking and this person bangs into the other person, they will actually both say sorry. So in Canadian English, what a lot of Canadians do is they use sorry as a way to apologize to someone, but sometimes sorry can also be used as a way of indicating to the other person that they have done something that you want them to apologize oh, for. So, it's so when someone sorry? bangs into me, I say sorry and they also say sorry. In Canada, People sometimes swear and use offensive language, but they generally do that with close friends or people who are close to them. In Canada, it is considered very rude and a big taboo to swear in front of people who you don't know. Swearing in front of a stranger, big no. Swearing in front of a child is a huge taboo. Just you don't use offensive language in front of children. In fact, on Canadian TV, on every TV channel, what will happen if there is a swear word is that either the swear word will be censored, it'll be beeped out, or at the beginning of the program, there will actually be a warning. And the warning usually says something like, this program contains coarse language, viewer discretion is advised, which basically means there's swearing in this program, so if there's children, now's the time to get them to leave the room or turn off the TV. In Canada, it is considered rude to talk loudly on your phone when you are riding public transportation. I have heard many people do it in Toronto specifically, but in smaller towns, not as much. So generally, if you are riding public transportation, you can text someone or talk quietly. Sorry, I'm on the bus. I have to call you back. That's okay, but yeah, so uh, what are you doing tonight? on a crowded bus with many other passengers, we don't need to hear your conversation and it is considered rude for you to be speaking loudly in general and especially rude for you to be speaking loudly on a cell phone in that situation. In let, let me tell you about that one about talking loudly on the cell phone, okay? I ride the bus to work. 6.45 in the morning, people on their cell phone just talking and, yeah, man, last night, you know, blah, blah. And I'm getting details that I don't want to hear. And it irks me when I'm trying, especially when you just wake up and you're going into work. And where I work, I hear loud talking every day. People are screaming at each other. They're screaming at the employees. They're screaming, at, you know, just screaming. And I'm on the bus trying to, like, you know, kind of pick myself up first thing in the morning and somebody be sitting next to me arguing with their boyfriend or their husband talking about what a wild night they had before you know what I mean gossiping about somebody and it's kind of like they want you to know that they're talking like you hearing their conversation makes them important or makes them popular or they just want attention, you know what I mean, and thing, and it's really annoying. But it happens a lot on the buses here, you know. Uh, when my phone rings on one of the bus, <laughs> I turn that sucker off. I'm not answering. I'll, I'll get, I'll get back to them when I get off the bus. You know what I mean? Let's get back to this here. Restaurant, there are a couple of things you need to be careful of that can also be seen as taboo. When you have finished your meal and you are getting ready to pay, please remember to leave the server a tip. Tipping is important in Canadian culture to show the waiter or waitress that you enjoyed their service. You don't have to tip if you're just getting like a $2 coffee at Timmy's, Tim Hortons, but when you're actually in a sit-down restaurant and someone has been serving you, please give them a tip. Generally, somewhere between 15 to 20% is considered normal. You should also turn your phone off if you are in a place such as a restaurant or a classroom or a theater. Places like that, people will consider it extraordinarily rude if your cell phone starts ringing and disrupting them from their activities. If someone invites you to their house for dinner, there are three really appropriate gifts that you can bring as a gesture to say, thank you for having me for dinner. You could bring flowers, you could bring wine, 
or you could bring them something like a box of chocolates or something small like that. Those are appropriate gifts and they're called hostess gifts. So if someone hmm. invites you for dinner, please bring something to the dinner with you, something small like that. Flowers and wine are usually the best choices. Speaking of being invited to someone's house, if you are invited to their house for dinner, then you should show up on time or a little tiny bit late, but no more than 15 minutes late for dinner because that is considered rude. However, if someone invites you to their house for dinner and you show up early, that's also considered rude because maybe the host isn't ready for you yet. Maybe they haven't finished preparing things. However, if you're invited to someone's house for a party and there's many, many people coming and it's a more casual laid back situation, you still definitely shouldn't come early. But being a little bit later, even a little bit more than 15 minutes late is generally considered acceptable. If you are going to someone's house for dinner or for a party, if you're going into someone's house for any reason, there's something we do in Canada that most people in other countries do as well, which is to take off your shoes when you enter someone's house. When you visit someone's house, please make sure you take off your shoes before entering. If you butt in front of someone in the line, it's very slang, butt in front of someone, meaning to push your way into the line, budge your way in, or jump the queue, as my British friends would say, that is extraordinarily rude. You need to find the end of the line and wait your turn in the line. Follow signs. If a sign tells you to do something, do it. If it says no smoking, don't smoke. If it says give the seat up for elderly or pregnant people, move and give that chair to someone. Don't continue sitting there when there's an elderly man standing. If a sign says please keep your dog on a leash, keep your dog on the leash. Please. Follow the signs, be polite, and you shouldn't have to worry too much about life in Canada and thinking about too many taboos. I think the majority of taboos and things that I talked about for this video that many people really wanted to see, the majority of things that I thought about are taboo in most places around the world. So using common sense and being polite will get you really far during your time here in Canada. And now it's time for question of the day. Today's question is, please tell me about some taboos in your country. Let me know about those taboos in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this. Now that was quite interesting the thing, you know, like she said though, a lot of them, a lot of this, uh, of the taboos are universal. The, the thing about the finger though, I didn't know what that was until I came to this country. Because we don't go around putting up obscene when I was growing up on the island they're probably doing it now but when I was growing up on the island we didn't go around you know giving obscene hand signs and stuff like that you know so when I came here and I saw that I really didn't know what it meant you know what I mean I mean I knew what curse was and stuff for and here's something else too I didn't curse a whole lot when I was on the island I don't curse a whole lot now unless I'm really aggravated but uh I never cursed at all. You wouldn't get obscenities coming out of my... Uh, it is considered really rude to curse anywhere, period. As a matter of fact, when I was growing up, you would get a, a fine if you curse in the city. And I know in a lot of countries it used to be like that, you know, it used to be like that here, but now, you know, it's a freedom of speech. But uh, there seem to be a lot of uh, similarities around the world as to what is taboo and nothing like that, which, which comes up to the, another point. We seem to be a lot more similar than we lead on and think, aren't we? You know what I mean? But we seem to, like I always say, we seem to try to emphasize the differences in each other. And I think that's just to classify each other as who is better, who is smarter, who is more moral and all that stuff. You know what I mean? So maybe, man, maybe we should just say, hey, we're all human beings and stuff. You know? I think that's a good way to go. Comment down below and thing. Let me know about some of the taboos uh, that you have in your uh, your country, wherever you are uh, watching this. Also, comment about some of the good things that you could do. 
in your country that would make people respect you, you know, and stuff like that, you know? I don't just want to go with the negative part of the taboo and don't do this and don't do that. Let's also talk about the good things that you could do when visiting in your country, the, the way you could show respect to somebody, you know what I'm saying and thing? I'll leave a link in the description for this video so you all could go check it out. And uh, hey, keep watching, man. I'll leave a... Uh, cards up here so you could go watch the videos that uh, i'm gonna put up before you to go watch just just keep checking it out and take all right y'all take care of each other all right cool runnings